The Night Floaters, World Folklore Taken from Anatomy of a Phenomena, a Grade 10 Social Studies Report, circa 1972. Floaters, a.k.a. Bobs, are an anomalous phenomena reported in southern Ontario since the time of the First Nations and the arrival of the first white settlers. The name refers to the ability of these beings to detach their heads from the trunks of their bodies, the heads then being able to fly or float at will, or bob through the air like a buoy bobbing on a body of water. The heads then fly through the night to harass and attack victims. While many sightings have been reported in Halton County, with reports focusing on both the town of Oakville and the Valley of the Sixteen, centering on the abandoned village of Proudfoot's Hollow, floaters, or flying heads, have been sighted throughout Canada and the U.S., with other accounts from around the world. Oddities In his book Oddities, 1928, British paranormal author Rupert T. Gould had the following account of a Filipino tribe called the Burbalangs. These Burbalangs are ghouls and must eat human flesh occasionally or they would die. You can always tell them because the pupils of their eyes are not round, but just narrow slits like those of a cat. They dig open the graves and eat the entrails of the corpses, but in Cagayan, the supply is limited, so when they feel the craving for a feed of human flesh, they go away into the grass and, having carefully hidden their bodies, hold their breath and fall into a trance. Their astral bodies are then liberated. They fly away, and entering a house, they enter into the body of one of the occupants and feed on their entrails. The burbalangs may be heard coming, as they make a moaning noise which is loud at a distance and dies away to a feeble moan as they approach. When they are near you, the sound of their wings may be heard, and the flashing lights of their eyes can be seen like dancing fireflies in the dark. As described by Gould, the Burbalangs are a form of ghoul, which feast on dead bodies, but which will also attack the living to satisfy their craving for flesh. In this particular case, entrails. Present-day accounts of those entities known as bobs or floaters also notes their affinity for graveyards and other isolated places and their practice of biting or slashing victims with their teeth. In North America, we have folk tales which describe mythical creatures similar to floaters. The Iroquois were plagued by flying heads, huge faces six feet in length with a mane of grizzled hair, bat-like wings, and vicious claws. One evening a head appeared outside the lodge of a woman who was cooking acorns over a blazing fire and eating them. Observing this by looking through the smoke hole at the top of the hut, the flying head forced its way in, determined to enjoy the delicacy the woman was consuming so heartily. Unfortunately, it confused the acorns with the glowing hot coals and, scooping them up, swallowed them down and with a cough and a screech flew off into the night, never to be seen again. The natives who inhabited the area around the mouth of the Sixteen seemed to credit the origin of the flying heads to extraterrestrial sources. According to an aged shaman interviewed at the time of the first white settlement in the early 1800s, the heavens were rent with peals of thunder, 
and the great heads fell from the swirling clouds into the black waters of the lake, only to rise again, with much boiling and hissing, to plague the people with their insatiable hunger for flesh and blood. Some scholars suggest the preceding quote is merely a parable to explain the creation and existence of blood-sucking insects such as mosquitoes. But could it also be an account of the origin of those anomalous beings known as floaters? Witches in El Salvador, in Central America, also had the ability to detach their heads from their bodies, flying through the night skies to terrorize their communities. The only remedy to prevent the witch from reattaching her head at dawn was to put hot ashes along the top of the neck, thwarting the supernatural procedure. Malignant beings with the ability to detach their heads from their bodies are a well-known facet of Asian folklore. These include the Berbalangs as well as the Aswang, a Filipino vampire with a legless body and vampire wings. Rokuro Kubi, wicked individuals who, like Berbalangs, are able to detach their heads from their bodies while in a trance state, flying forth to attack lonely travelers and drink their blood. However, if their sleeping body is moved, the head is unable to return and reattach itself. There are also Rokuro Kubi, which are able to elongate their necks in order to molest their victims. Other oriental flying heads include the Burmese Kathan, variously described as the floating head and stomach of a wizard or a dog-faced water monster, or the Malaysian Penanguen, a detached female head which dangles its entrails as it flies, its intestines twinkling like fireflies in the gloom of the night. Pregnant women and small children are the primary victims of this disgusting creature, which can only be defeated by placing thorny branches around any open windows, the better to snag its guts. Please subscribe and follow this channel for further updates on the history of the night floaters and their nefarious activities.